more logo reviews today. My name is Andre Leroux. Let's begin. First logo today is an eagle and lightning bolt. Not bad. Some attention to detail needed here and the two parts of the design don't work well together. It's almost like the lightning bolt was just slapped on top afterwards without much thought to how it interacts with the eagle. If you combine two things you have to think about how the two of them interact. Next some colorful pipes. On the one hand this is quite unsuccessful but I like the creativity. The concept is interesting. Two problems. Um, the alignment is sloppy. If we look at the negative space here these gaps between the pipes they are not the same. Uh, you can see it clearly if we make everything else black. That's not good enough. Got to be more precise than this. The other problem is the color palette. Um, I don't think these gray pipes work very well. They seem out of place and you have a bright red pipe up here and then this dull grayish red here. With a logo like the famous NBC logo those colors work very very well together. They were carefully chosen. You can see that by trying to change one of them. If we change the blue to a more vibrant blue you can see that the vibrant blue seems out of place among the other softer colors. So perhaps try coming up with a nice color palette first and then apply it to the logo. Next up a flying candy logo. Not bad. Perhaps the shading here on the lollipop is too isolated. If you have shading only in one area and nowhere else the design can look unfinished. And I don't know about the blue. It's not wrong but it's not an edible color. With a candy logo or any food logo you want colors that look edible, that look tasty. Um, I would probably go with only reds for this logo. Heraldic design is tricky. In heraldry stuff have particular meanings. There are rules. Of course you don't have to adhere to these rules but if you throw them away then at least you want to do so intentionally not out of ignorance. Look at this. A crown with stars has a different meaning than a crown without stars. The link to this site is in the description. Check it out before you get into heraldic logos. As for this logo the anatomy is a bit weird. The front paw is huge. I would chop half of it off. Uh, not sure about the face, not very attractive. And there isn't good harmony between the top half and the bottom half of the lion. I would make these gaps consistent and then repeat them in the rest of the design. Next a tiger. Well this isn't going to work. Um, even if it is not a simple trace from a photo it looks like a simple trace from a photo. An incomplete trace. Like the designer got tired of tracing after a while. Um, even if it's completed to a much higher level it would qualify as an illustration not a logo. And a lion. This could work. Um, there is a bit of a light source issue here. If we look at this pyramid at the top you have the light coming from the top with the lightest triangle on top and a medium one on the side and a darker one below. But then elsewhere you seem to have light coming from below. And I think this logo could be and should be simplified. Like this shape here is more complex than it needs to be. It could be simplified like so. Next up a mountain logo. The designer first uploaded this. We declined it because there are several issues like very untidy design work here and I don't know what this is. Um, it looks like a muddy pool, then below that a waterfall, then a brown shadow below the waterfall. The designer then added these shapes and uploaded it to Logo Ground again. Nope. Usually just adding more stuff to a declined logo isn't the answer. You need to improve what's there. By the way this isn't going to work. 
Um, it looks like you are not designing in vector format, instead converting the files to vector format at the end. Designing in vector format is a must. And a cannabis lion logo. It is a little weird to have leaves coming out of its eyes, but weird is okay. We don't mind weird. Some inconsistency again with the light source. The shading on the leaf is on this side and here and here and here, but then it jumps. And on the lion's mane, there is a cast shadow here, suggesting a light source off to the right, but then we have shading here, where the light is supposed to come from. And this is just Times New Roman. Um, it's a good font, but it comes pre-installed on every computer in the world. So it is what amateurs use. You're making it hard for potential clients to value your design when you use a font that amateurs use. Uh, yeah, no. This is... No. Um, look, if you are new to logo design, there is a long road ahead. Uh, there's a lot that you have to learn, like the difference between vector and raster images, and a thousand other things. I don't want to waste your time. It is a better use of your time to stop uploading to Logo Ground and to go learn the basics of Logo Design first. Otherwise, you have no chance of getting anything approved on Logo Ground. Next up, a King Rooster logo. Not a very happy chicken, this. Um, he looks shocked or scared like his arch enemy just walked into the room and is here to assassinate him. Uh, no one wants a sad or shocked or scared looking mascot. Happy, confident or aggressive, yes. Aggressive is good in logos. Um, it is usually perceived as a negative, rightly so, but in logos it is commonly used very effectively in sports logos and gaming logos and so on. By the way, this isn't a crown, it's a jester's hat. A jester is like a court comedian. Interesting character, because he was the one guy in the kingdom that could criticize the king. Anyone else would get their head chopped off, but it was understood that the jester was only joking, so he could get away with it. A very powerful and important guy when you think about it. Okay, that's a wrap. Thanks for watching. More logos next time. I'll see you then.